Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann, founder and editor of Farbspielfoto.com, where we make your photography simple. This tutorial video is an excerpt of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you have the unique chance of snatching both courses as a free bonus. Just stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how. And now, have fun with the tutorial. So the color tab is a very, very powerful tool in Lightroom. It lets you um, influence and change individual color ranges and make them a different color or make them more or less saturated or change their luminosity, a luminance as, it's, uh, as it says here in those labels. <clears throat> there are different ways of, of viewing this. I typically choose the color um, setting here which gives me all the different major colors and then finally an all label. And that's what I usually use. So that gives me th the three sliders for each major color. For example, the red, I can change the U, which means that the, the red elements here, like for example, this, uh, whatever that furniture, piece of furniture, furniture is called, gets orange or it gets into the violet range. Double clicking brings it back. So initially it's um, it's a red more to the yellow side. And I actually like it when it's more red. Making it really red, I like it. Saturation obviously changes the saturation of that color and you can see the effect of that. I probably don't touch that saturation and luminance makes those colors lighter or darker. And that's true for each and every color you, uh, you see here in that dialog, in that panel. Next to the oranges. So as what I'm doing is, it's very hard to judge which effect the changes will have. Sometimes it's very easy. If you have, for, for example, water that is blue and you would like to make it more greenish, you would go to the, to the aqua and blue slider and change the U slightly, okay? Here in that image, there's lots of orange tones. And if you shift them more to the red, it's probably not something that I'd like. If you shift, shift them more to the green end, not very good either. So I'm probably going to leave those orange regions and colors alone. Maybe a bit, the luminance a bit down to make them stronger in the image. Yellow, I'm not going to, to uh, move that to orange or green, which would be the options. I'm going to leave it at yellow. I'm going to play with the saturation. Mm, not really decided if that's a good thing or not. The other th uh, colors really do not actually appear here. There's some purple orange, uh, some purple magenta here. So let me see if uh, if we can modify that in any way. Yeah, it's becoming more bluish. Not, not a lot of change here. So I, I would like to get rid of those just a little bit. So I'm going to tone those purple and magenta uh, tones down just a little bit. Okay, so if you have landscapes, if you have seascapes with very strong colors like green, yellow, orange, blue, you can really make those colors pop don't restrict yourself to using only the saturation slider in the basic tab. That's an overall adjustment or the vibrance slider. It gives you some control, but not really, okay? The control of the colors really lies in that color tab. So go into that and check out what you can do there and experiment with those colors. Don't get funky. Don't make your water purple or magenta or, or green, too green. Um, but just be careful and and just experiment and check what those changes do to your images. You're going to be surprised what you can do with the color tab. Now you also have the HSL, which is which stands for U Saturation Luminance, but that actually only gives you a different view of what we just seen. So if you prefer that, fine. Otherwise, just go to the color tab. If you want to do a black and white, if you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you're lucky. 
because you can snatch your free copy of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop and here's how it works. Simply head over to the link below where the 5 day deal team organizes the biggest bundle sale in the history of photography. It's running between September 10th and 15th 2015 and this is your unique chance to get a huge bundle of high class photography education and tools from the world's best photographers at an insane discount. No matter which type of photography you're into, this is the best investment you can make in your own photography. And in addition to that, you can even win over $50,000 worth in prices. If you purchase the bundle through this link, I will send you the download links to my full personal workflow courses within 24 hours. But please do make sure that you use this link to start your checkout process for the bundle. Otherwise I will not have your details and I cannot send you anything. So. I hope I'll see you for the 5-day deal event. Take care and have fun.